Hi my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your August the 21st until the 28th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Alright, so for those of you that are new, welcome. And those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you guys back. Um, if you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe, like, and share as that is always so greatly appreciated. And anybody interested in a personal reading based on you and your persons or just your energy alone, my website is in the description box below and the link to my Instagram is down there as well. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with your tarot, then I'm going to pull you guys some oracle cards. So let's see, what can we get for my beautiful Capricorns for the week ahead? Show me what Capricorns need to see from the 21st to the 28th of August. Reveal Capricorn's love life from the 21st to the 28th. All right, you guys. So let's see what we have for you. We have the Four of Swords. The Hermit. Virgo energy. Six of Swords. Looks like you guys are coming out of a time where you are, you know, withdrawn, really withdrawn and really just taking some time to yourself, really just focusing on yourself. You guys may, you know, for some of you, I feel like you may be in a little bit of a de depressive state where you are kind of, you know, just going within and just kind of st sticking to yourself. You know, you're not on social media. You could have taken a break from social media, but you're really just kind of focusing on yourself and not really socializing with a lot of people. Some of you guys could be spending a lot of extra time sleeping, like oversleeping. Um, I do see here, though, with the Six of Swords, it's like you guys are going to be coming out of that time. Uh, some of you guys may decide that you need to go on a vacation in order to, you know, let, let some steam through. But I do see here that there is some sort of travel, whether this is just you traveling out of this place where you're just kind of, you know, keeping to yourself and going towards calmer times, I do see that you are evolving towards better times. And for some of you, this is within your relationship. Within your relationship, the two of you guys, you know, have possibly taken a break. For some of you guys, this could have been a break within a relationship and now this person is traveling towards you or you guys are moving towards a time where you guys can express your emotions in a way that isn't so, you know, maybe aggressive. It's like you are coming into a place with your partner where you can get over the argument in a calm way. You guys are, you know, back to the point where you guys respect and appreciate each other. So you're able to, you know, speak to them. Uh, seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you could have had an argument with your partner or somebody that you're dealing with. Or just felt like everybody was against you. You know, you could have been in a, at a time, you know, you could be in a time in your life where you feel like there's a lot of people against you. But... I feel like, you know, instead of going within, you guys this week are going to be transforming to a point where you're taking action towards that. Whatever it is that made you feel like you needed to go within, you're going to take action towards that so that you can, you know, understand whatever it is more and, you know, move forward in your life. It's like you're not going to be stagnant. If there's anything stagnant in your life, you're finally going to be moving forward. Page of Cups. For some of you, this is a new relationship. For some of you guys, this was a breakup that had happened and you're trying to, you know, get out of that breakup, get out of that process of feeling sad and, you know, just going within and just not wanting to deal with, you know, the world around you. Some of you may have even taken time off work to really deal with this, but, you know, you are coming out of that time and, you know, managing things. And for some of you, this is a new love offer that um, enters your life. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For some of you, this is a person that you're dealing with um, messaging you. This could be an apology as well. The three of coins, an apology, somebody wanting to work um, things out with you, building towards, you know, building um, your future with this person or this new person is coming and wanting to invest time into a relationship or building a relationship with you. The tower, Scorpio energy here. Let's see. Three of wands. All right, you guys. Let's clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for Capricorn. Clarify the tower for Capricorn, please. amazing you guys I was gonna say okay so we have the star in Aquarius Aquarian energy here 
So, you know, what I'm seeing here is I really feel like this tower is, you know, destruction. And I feel like it's destruction of a previous relationship for some of you. Your previous or current relationship may be destructed in order for a new one to come into your life. This is one that is a healing, you know, I feel like the relationship you're currently in is a little bit conflicting. And I feel like you're going to be going into more of a healing um, relationship. It's like there's something that you want that's coming really quickly towards you. And I feel like, you know, what this tower really is, is just destructing anything that doesn't serve you right. And that could even just be your hermit mode, you know, you going into hermit mode and just kind of avoiding the world. It's like all of that is going to be destructed. It's like, yes, it almost reminds me of a death and rebirth process where, yes, you are going through such a hard time, but you are going to break out of it. And it's like the tower is replacing and eliminating anything that no longer needs to be in your life so that when you do move forward you can move forward in a way where you are so strong and you are so stable because anything that makes you unstable is you know has already been removed and then really quickly your ships are coming in towards you beautiful energy you guys five of coins four of wands The King of Swords. Some of you guys, when there's, if you guys are ending a relationship and you're starting a new relationship, as soon as you, you know, are okay because you're moving forward, I mean, it's like if you were messaging this person, you wanted to get back with them until this new person comes into your life or until something comes into your life that distracts you and you no longer are, you know, putting attention and giving them time and giving them attention. It's like as soon as that happens, this person is going to see the victorious side of the relationship that they had with you, see the potential of the relationship that they had with you, and this person could try to come back into your life um, to, you know, fight for what you guys could possibly have. Yeah, it's almost like they're rushing back into your life, wanting to get back on the same page, even though you guys are completely not on the same page. It's like they're going to give you that dream that you had, you know, that you had, um, that visual that you had, you know, when you pictured yourself being with them, it's like, that's what this person is going to come in and try to do. Or Knight of Swords, a little bit of aggressive energy here. For some of you, this person's not going to stop They're, you know, it's almost like they're going to have some sort of epiphany once you are no longer giving them your time and they're going to be, you know, rushing towards you. But for some of, for some of you, you may have to deal with this person in a very aggressive way way because they may be you know they may turn a little bit aggressive when they realize that you know you're no longer as interested in them as you once were so you may have to be careful you know they may use some harsh words if they can't get back with you I think that's how you really know you know who somebody really is the Hierophant Taurus energy Justice Libra energy very strong Venus over here it looks like no matter what happens you know things are going to go in your favor you know whatever wrong this person has done to you is going to be right and this could even be from them you know initially coming up to you and apologizing to you but it looks like you know whatever this whatever happened here it's pushing the person who you know if there's somebody who hurt you it's really pushing them to seek you know, the answers that they need to really find out who they are because, you know, it's not that they do these things on purpose. They want to hurt people on purpose. It's that they're healing and they have things that they're dealing with, but they don't necessarily know or are very conscious of what it is that they are dealing with inside. And it's like the situation with you, they cared about you enough so that, you know, because I feel like this person, no matter who they date, it's like it always ends up the same. They always, you know, make the same mistake. It's like they're just in this karmic cycle. And I feel like with you, this person cared so much. And now it's like, you force them to really seek, you know, some wisdom, to really get help, to really heal themselves. And we have the King of Wands here. The Magician, Aquarius Energy. I really feel like, you know, you guys are really going to be coming up in the, the next week especially when it comes to work or when it comes to you I just feel like people are going to be looking up to you people are going to you're going to be influencing a lot of people you're going to have your words be careful with your words because your words are going to be listened to from a lot of people even people you think aren't listening 
and your words are going to be very influ influential influential a lot of people are going to be you know looking up to you admired by you inspired by you and i really feel like you guys are going to be coming into some sort of new leadership role within your life that is very you know it takes up a lot of your time and your energy but it's something that you're very passionate about and creative um, that's very creative and it could have to do with your career with the star card here you could be getting a wish fulfillment that has to do with your career here um but yeah so that is what i have for you guys today i'm just gonna sorry i forgot i'm gonna play you guys some oracle cards so let's see what can we get for the beautiful capricorns so i have virgo aquarius libra taurus scorpio All right, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, new moon in Capricorn. So absolutely, you know, the end of a tough cycle is definitely approaching. Your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Wow, sorry, the first one was full moon, two Capricorn um, cards, so this is really good. And then we have step out of your comfort zone, north node. I do feel like the more you jump outside of your comfort zone and do the opposite of what you normally would, um, you know, especially without thinking, you know, I really feel like you will benefit a lot, a lot this week from doing things like that. It's like you'll notice that a lot of things that you wanted, you know, they pretty much are. Everything you want is pretty much on the other side of fear. And I feel like you're going to, you know, this week is really going to be testing that for you. Envy. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And for some of you, I'm just getting this message. It's just like, remember that everybody has their own things that they're dealing with. You know, you may think somebody has a perfect life from the outside, but you have absolutely no idea what they're dealing with on the inside. And a lot of the times people that brag and things like that, they really are the ones that are going through the most on the inside. So, you know, never judge a book by their cover and don't ever compare your process to somebody else's process because you guys have completely different stories. And then we have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And we have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Beautiful, you guys. All right, so that is what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, that is always greatly appreciated. And if you would like a personal reading, my website is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.